Hey there do-it-yourself technicians. If you have an iPhone, here's five tips to get the most out of iMessages. What is an iMessage? Basically, it's a text or SMS message conversation between two or more iPhone users. How do you know if the person on the other end is an iPhone user? Well, the answer is blue bubbles. If your messages are blue, it's an iPhone. If your messages are green, it's an Android or some other phone, like maybe some 90s flip phone. If you are sending iMessages, there's a host of options available rather than just sending plain text and photos. Some of these are new and some have been around for a while. Audio messages are great for that extra level of personalization in a message. It really shows if you went to the extra effort of recording your voice rather than just typing a text message. All you have to do is tap and hold the waveform at the end of the message box and say your message. Hey, this is a test message. I hope you like it. Then let go to stop recording and you can either cancel with the X, play it back with the play button or send it with the send button. It's much nicer to hear someone's voice, unless of course it's me singing you happy birthday, then you'll really wish it was a text message. Bubbles and screen effects. There are a whole bunch of options available to change the way that text looks or change the whole screen when you're sending a message. Here's some examples. Type your message. And then instead of pressing send, press and hold the send button and you get the option to either slam it, say it loud, say it gently, or say it in invisible ink where the viewer actually has to rub their hand over it to expose what it says. For full screen messages, You can repeat it like crazy, put a spotlight on it, send with balloons, send with confetti, send with love, send with lasers, send with fireworks, or send with glittery celebrations. Pick the one you want and hit the send button. Share your location. This can be really useful if you are trying to meet up with someone but they can't find you. You can share your location once by tapping on the name, tapping on the info button and then tapping send my current location. This will find me and then send a map with my current location in it. There is also an option to share my location either for one hour, till the end of the day, or indefinitely, if that better suits your purposes. Number four is to reply. Sometimes messages get a bit jumbled up, especially in a group conversation, and it's nice to reply to a specific message so that the user knows exactly what it's about. And you can do that by holding on the message you want to reply to until the options pop up and then press reply. And you can add your message in. And the reply is now attached to that message. And you can tap out to go back. And it now shows that there has been one reply to that message. Tip number five is all about sending photos from your iPhone. By default, the iPhone sends not just a photo, but in fact, one and a half seconds of video before and after each photo. This can be useful and add context, or it could be terribly embarrassing. Either way, it makes for a fairly large photo that probably contains a lot of stuff you don't need to send, which can be an issue. Like the other day, my sister was trying to send me a photo of something on her screen, but was in a really bad service area. The fact that it was sending the live video before and after was no help and a huge hindrance. I might think I'm just taking a photo of the camera.
But what I'm actually taking is a bit of video. And that could show you all sorts of things. Is a bit of video. Right. It even includes the audio, which could be really embarrassing if somebody says the wrong thing when you just think you're sending a photo. To turn this feature off, press the little sun-like logo up the top left or closer to the top right before you take the photo. You might save yourself a heap of embarrassment. So there you have five tips for making the most of iMessages. If only there was a way to use iMessages on a Windows 10 computer like there is on a Mac. Maybe one day. Question of the day. What is your favourite iMessage feature? Let me know in the comments down below. And if you found this video useful, give it a thumbs up. Thank you. The Tech Doctor exists to help you become your own technician. Learn about the technology, protect yourself from the bad guys, and fix it when it breaks. If you're watching this on YouTube, there's some older videos you may not have seen before here and here. And you can click on the Tech Doctor logo here to subscribe to the channel and then press the bell icon to make sure you never miss another episode. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day and I'll see you on the next episode.